Hello and welcome to Annual Pool's how-to guide section. This video we're going to show you how to replace the sand in a sand filter. Every five to seven years you will have to replace the sand in your sand filter. The sand actually wears out. The sharp edges of the sand particles become worn and rounded and don't capture the contaminants as well. Also the sand will start to ball up or the water will create channels through the sand. You will notice that your pool water is not as clean or the interval between required backwashes is shorter. This guide shows you the steps required to replace the sand in a sand filter. The example we are using is the Pentair Triton 2 side valve sand filter. Before you start to change the sand in your filter, be sure to purchase any material or equipment you will need ahead of time. This might include sand, the o-ring between the valve and the tank, Teflon tape, and lubricant. For the sand, use only high rate number 20 silica sand. Check the manufacturer to determine the amount required. In this example, we use the Pentair Triton 2 TR60, which uses 7 50 pound bags of sand for 350 pounds total. You can also purchase our superior to sand alternatives. Before you start to change the sand, make sure you turn off the pull pump. For maximum safety, turn off the power at the circuit breaker to the pump. Next, you will have to relieve the pressure that builds up in the filter during operation. To relieve pressure, turn the relief valve on top of the filter counterclockwise. Water may spray out initially as you see the pressure on the pressure gauge go all the way down to zero PSI. Remove the drain plug at the bottom of the filter tank by twisting it counterclockwise. This step will drain the water out of the sand in the tank. Using the lid wrench provided with the original purchase of the filter, twist the lid off the top of the filter. Twist counterclockwise. With the lid off, the top of the filter you will see the baffle and the air relief tube. The baffle distributes the water from the pump over the top surface of the sand. The air relief tube connects to the bottom of the tank and relieves any air that is caught in the top of the tank. The top of the air relief tube is covered with a screen to prevent sand from clogging the tube. Remove this screen and clean it. Clean off the top of the tube and blow through it to make sure it is clear. Move the baffle away from the opening in the tank by pushing it aside horizontally. You should be able to push it so that the tank opening is completely open for maximum access to the sand. Remove the old sand using a cup or small coffee can or a medium to high powered wet vac. If you are using a cup to clear the sand, place a cloth on the edge of the tank opening to avoid fiberglass splinters. Dump the sand on a tarp for later disposal. Clear the sand down to the top of the laterals at the bottom of the tank. When you get to the lateral, be careful removing the sand around and under the laterals as they are somewhat fragile and can be broken easily. Clear all the sand away from the lateral so you can inspect them. Wash off the laterals and the bottom of the tank. Let the water drain out the drain port. Look at and feel each of the laterals to see if they are damaged. If necessary, remove the questionable laterals and replace them. See our guide on how to replace laterals in a Pentair Triton 2 side valve sand filter. Once all the laterals have been checked and are in place, check and lubricate the drain plug's o-ring. Then replace the filter drain plug. Fill tank about halfway full of water to provide a cushion when the sand is poured in. This will help protect the laterals. To replace the sand, place a bag on top of the filter and cut out a large corner at the bottom of the bag nearest the hole in the top of the filter tank.
Push the baffle back until it is positioned in the center of the tank opening. Make sure the air vent tube is still connected through the baffle and the screen is attached securely at the end of the tube. The screen should be positioned close to the top of the tank. Clean any sand or other debris out of the threads of the lid cover and tank. Check the cover o-ring or cracks or splits. Replace if required and then lubricate it lightly with a silicone based lubricant. Screw the cover lid on top of the filter tank. Make sure the threads line up. If it becomes hard to turn, back the lid off and rethread it. Rotate the multi port handle to backwash. Turn on the power to the pump and let it run in backwash mode for two to three minutes. When a steady stream of water shoots out of the relief valve, turn the valve off. Shut off power to the pump. Rotate the multi-port valve handle to rinse. Turn on the pump and operate in rinse mode for 30 seconds. Turn the pump off. Rotate the multi-port valve handle to filter. Turn pump on. Your filter should be operational. Note the filter pressure. When it goes 10 PSA higher, backwash the filter. Don't forget to check us out online at www.nyopools.com. And remember, if you have any questions, feel free to give our experts a call at 1-877-372-6038.